We're going to do it, folks. I just hit an amiibo. <laughs> uh, we are going to create a Hero Raid boss. I have two Hero Amiibo. Uh, one's actually a, a chip. We're going to do a Hero Raid boss. So, I'm thinking, what do I want for this Hero Raid boss? I kind of want it to fight people. So if I'm going to have it fight people, we're going to throw a trade-off ability on there. I like trade-off ability. You start at 30, gives them, it makes them feel like they have a chance, you know? Now, the, the question really is... Ooh, ooh, I know. We'll throw a critical hit. There we go. I'm thinking, the question really is, do we want to go with banned spirits or not? But now I'm like, I'm seeing, you know... Uh, <laughs> yes, side special, please and thank you. I'm seeing um, spirits that I want to throw on there. So we're just going to throw them on there. <laughs> And then primaries. Okay, uh, let's go neutral spirit for this. So I'm doing trade-off ability because trade-off ability... Um, I did a post on this on AmoebaDoctor.com. Trade-off ability is like the seventh best spirit in the game. It's like big five, insta-drop, trade-off ability, right? So, um, and then critical hit just because it's a hero. And then side special because of how we're about to train him in just a second. What kind of stat loadout do I want? Do I want to kill first? Ooh, that's a good question. Or do I want defense? Do I want a tank? I'd rather he get kills. That's really what I'd rather he have. Let's go with kills. Okay. Uh, what kind of duplicates do... Oh, we were playing Mother 3 the other day. We'll throw Klaus on there. And we have duplicates of Klaus. So that works too. Okay. So let's train him up. What do you say? Learning is on. I've got my Karen me on my hero. We're gonna. So the way this hero is going to get trained... Uh, we're going to do some side special. And then we're going to do a little bit more side special. Actually, that's wrong. <laughs> I'm thinking... Uh, I forgot Omega stages. There we go. Now, I like side special on hero. Um, the, the AI doesn't really use the MP very well, which is a problem. So he will sometimes come up dry. But... With attack boost against a regular human, because this is designed to be a regular human uh, opponent. Okay, now are you seeing how jumpy he is? You don't see that on level 1 amiibo, right? Th in case you ever doubted that spirits change how amiibo play, there you go. Um, although I do plan to do a video proving that at some point. So, what was I saying? Um, <laughs> shoot, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, side special. We're going to do a lot of side special. Oh, that's right. He doesn't handle the mana very well. Um, he will run out. But he's got the attack stat. So, like, he's going to replenish a lot more mana a lot faster. Look at how jumpy he is. We add three spirits onto him. By the way, um, that is an AI issue. That does go away as they level up. So you'll notice how he just used the, the single uncharged version of his up special right it just happens i get probably five or six questions a month about why is my hero amiibo you know so dumb um because he's not recovering properly and i'm like no dude it's just because he's a low level so your hero is totally fine if he's doing that relax problem is i don't have a lot of mana i only have about two fully charged manas per life it appears, if I remember correctly, um, it would appear that the uh, the AI does recognize which side which side in neutral special to spam post 9.0. Um, that is something that looks like is now the case, but I'm I'm not sure on that. So one of the reasons um, I didn't in the Hero Amiibo guide uh, that was written in 8.0. One of the reasons I didn't recommend side special in that case was because uh, the hitboxes are like all the way out on the edge. So when you think of side special, you would expect to use it at point blank, right? Get all the sweet spots in there, get all of the attacks and stuff in there. I mean, it's, it's all great, right? The problem is the amiibo doesn't recognize all those little attacks. It just recognizes um, the hitbox. So it'll sometimes land with like the farthest out, smallest, most. Oh, I see Kangoni's online. The farthest out, worst possible hitbox on that attack that you can possibly get, and he'll call it good, and that that never ends well. So he just used up special correctly. Well, that's interesting. He doesn't usually do that this low of a level.
One other thing that I think Hero Amiibo really needs um, is a good jab. So if you're fighting a human opponent, this is hard to parry. You can parry it once, but it's, it's difficult to do it repeatedly, especially because it's, it's three very unique hitboxes. You've got up, down, okay, so two very unique hitboxes repeated once. Um, you've got up, down, and then up again, you know. Oh, here we go. He's using menu. I did not think that that would miss. <sighs> there we go. Okay, point blank. We're gonna... Now, I'm fully charging side special for a couple of reasons. If you use side special, he's still... If you use it twice and he runs out of mana, he's still gonna have enough mana for a reasonably good recovery. So you don't have to worry about that. Um... If you have him do it on top of other attacks, like if I also taught him to spam neutral special, that wouldn't be so good. But he still has at least one recovery if he uses mana that many times. There you go. Alright. And that's what the AI likes to do. <laughs> now he just used all of his mana. Very smart. Is he gonna throw it? Throw it. Come on. Oop, that's not what I mean to do at all. So he's burning all of his mana. I got so much crap for telling people don't train your hero to use uh, magic in the guide. Everyone was like, what do you mean? Mine uses it fine. I was like, no, you don't understand. He's gonna run out. He's gonna run out. It's not gonna work. I might have screwed up somewhere. <laughs> oh, let's do some uh, down air as well, since we're thinking about it. Oh, that's not down air. That's down air. Get dared. What, what was the... Did you guys ever take a dare as kids? Um... What was the the acronym? What did that mean? I don't remember. It was against it was D against R E or something like that. I think Hero's Dash Attack is actually really good. Look at this. It's so good. It kills. Like he has spirits and it's still almost killed. That's how good of a dash attack it is. Now, granted, easily parryable, okay? But not horrible running speed. It's a large hitbox. The whole shebang basically kills. I definitely made a mistake teaching him to side special. But you know what? We're going to own it. Uh-oh. I forgot you can overcharge that. Uh-oh. You know what? I made a boo-boo. That's not good. These are things that you... You should think through these things ahead of time, children. <laughs> it's okay. We like to have fun here. If you're still watching this for some reason... Uh, I'm just kidding. And, uh, what were we, nine minutes in? Yeah, if you're still watching this, um, go to AmiiboDoctor.com. Uh, we have a lot of Amiibo training guides. Uh, we actually don't have one with Hero. We still have the, uh, the video one up. Um, I have some high-level uh, hero contenders that have been meaning to write guides, but they haven't gotten around to that yet. That's okay. But no, leave a like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think of my hairstyle. Actually, that's really what I care about. I don't care if you subscribe. Tell me what you think of my hair. Is it good hair? I want to know if it's good hair. You can subscribe, too. That I'm not going to complain, but come on. Is this good hair? What do you think? I mean, look at this. Is that is that all right or what? Got the fade. Look at that fade. Leave some... So, so, some uh, so show some... There we go. English is my first language, somehow. I'm just gonna go way over the ledge. Ha! How's it feel? I never did jab you enough. Come here. You're gonna jab. I'm just going ham on this. I don't really care. He's a raid boss, so the the requirements for training a good uh, raid boss are like 
5% as hard as the requirements for training a good vanilla amiibo, you know? Like, if your amiibo is fighting in another amiibo, dude, you've got to be, like, super careful and specific. If it's fighting a human, eh, feed it glue. It'll be fine. But don't, don't eat glue, by the way. Bad idea. Eating glue, bad idea. By the way, a uh, trade-off attack gives you, I, I don't remember the exact multipliers, but it basically gives you, um, you take, you start with 30%, right? But you do like something like 1.3-ish times percent more uh, knockback and something times damage and um, like two times, I don't remember exactly, but it's got a lot of multipliers on a lot of really good things and the 30% far, far outweighs the cost, believe me. Like, Amiibo get up to 30% in a heartbeat sometimes. I mean, it's it's like that. So, you know, you're fine if, if you have trade-off attack. It's the seventh best spirit in the game, and the top five are banned. And the sixth is situational. Some Amiibo really benefit from insta-drop. Some, not so much. Okay, but that was hype as hell, right? You went off stage for the side. Come on, that was cool. Gotta argue. No, it wasn't cool, Amiibo Doctor. I didn't think it was cool. Screw you. It was cool. It was great. You love to see it. You would talk to, I think that was his name. I don't know. I have nobody to talk to. Except for my amiibo. And I'm kicking his ass right now, so... It, it tends to um, make a relationship difficult when you're kicking someone's ass and trying to be nice to them at the same time. Wow, he just did 87%. Dang, okay. Maybe he won't need the second... Uh, Second whatever. Dang, alright. Still think it was kind of a mistake. Probably should have gone for a little bit more melee attack. But that's fine. Hey, whatever works, eh? A. A. As long as I'm not, like, training Ganondorf to use up tilt. we are fine there. Should be like a meme. Ganondorf up tilt. We're just going to be horrible. It's my amiibo. Oh, and he still got me. Spirits, man. No, don't you do it. Can he release that? I know in 8.0, I haven't messed with Hero a whole lot since 8.0. I know in 8.0 he, he could charge it, but he couldn't release it. Um, not once it was fully charged and in. Can he release that now? Let me actually fully charge that. Rip. He's trying to shield that. Probably after this match, I'm going to have to start throwing on some spirits. Although, what are we, three start, three matches in? I think we'll be okay, actually, after this match. We'll start leveling him up using the AFK leveling method that I did that video on earlier. Earlier for me. This is probably going up the next day. Dash attack, baby. That's the other thing that's really good about um, dash attack, is that it interrupts whatever the opponent might be doing. I mean, any attack does that, but it's really good on here. Has he gotten any critical hits? This, I mean, not the built-in ones, but like the spirited ones. The ones that you get from spirits. Um, oh, by the way, uh, a note on the critical hit spirit. It doesn't stack with hero. It's completely independent, not the same type of critical hit whatsoever. It doesn't like increase probability or anything. Um, that is its own variable, its own type of variable. It applies to every move, that sort of thing. I get, I get asked questions about that. People give their hero, like, critical hit double plus or something, which is a, a bonus effect you can get from the DLC boards. Not helpful. That's that's not really... Um, not really that beneficial on hero, at least in competitive spirits. And raid bosses, it's, it's fun, because, you, you know, they'll land... It's like a 5% chance to land critical hits. Um, they'll land critical hits, like, you know... 1 in 20, 
but they'll land it on like a nair or something, which would be unexpected. And so they never know, the opponent never knows how to DI, right? We're trying to go, uh, still, I said this in the raid, in the Incineroar video, uh, the uh, How to Train the Incredible uh, Raid Boss video. Um, still, we're trying to go as brutally hard as we can. You know what I mean? Raid bosses are not supposed to be fun. They're supposed to make you hate yourself. Right? <laughs> well, yes, I would love a critical hit. Alright, last one. This feels like the shortest training I've ever done. Oh, that's right, because he started at level 8. That would be why. That makes sense. <laughs> like, why? Why is he already level 21? That's not right. I'm like, oh, this isn't vanilla. Duh. Usually, what, what like, high-level raid boss makers will do, um, they actually have access to a program called Turn Me Box, which you can only get from the USAC Discord server, if I remember correctly, although there's probably other places you can get it somewhere. Um, and Turn Me Box allows you to take the bin file of your amiibo and, like, edit on the stats and effects that you want without changing the behavior, and then uh, re-encrypt it. So it's very cool. Okay, so we'll do one match, one three-stock match. Um, if you haven't yet, go to the website, damn it, uh, subscribe, um, but seriously, tell me how my hair is. I want to, I want to know. Was it good hair? Um, for the record, that, these, this skin right here, the skin my amiibo has and my, my alt, that's the Goku skin. I know it's not an orange. I will fight you on this. I will fight you. That's Goku. Goku is in Smash. His name is Hero, which makes sense. He's the hero of Dragon Ball Z. I will fight you. Okay, jab. Uh, I just want to mix in a little bit more jab, and then I think we'll call him good. Um, the the best raid boss amiibo, aside from just being ridiculously hard. Um, this Well, not the best. The smartest raid boss amiibo are trained all the way to level 50. Um, but smart is not necessarily what we're going for here. We're going for difficult. That's okay. I don't mind dying. That is, that is a misnomer that gets... Uh, oh, dang it, I was... I thought I had zoom. Um, that's a misnomer that I see get thrown around a lot. Um, is strongest amiibo. Smartest, strongest, whatever. There's really no smart amiibo. Um, there's amiibo that, that have patterns of behavior that are hardest to fight against for other amiibo. Um, so even when I said it earlier, it didn't really mean anything. But there's definitely no strongest amiibo. Like, there's an Incineroar somewhere that only spams a Lolan Whip with, like, Armor Knight and a uh, trade-off ability and has 32,000 attack and defense. That's the strongest amiibo. Everything else is a lie. It's clickbait. I think I said as much in the podcast the other day. All right. Well, um, we're going to go turn learning off, and then probably in future live streams, we are going to have this hero amiibo, and he is going to be an opponent. We're going to level him up all the way to 50 first. That's why returning is learning off. Uh, but yeah, tune into live streams, turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when I go live. Um, I don't usually tell anybody when I go live. I want to see who shows up first. So, you know, hit hit the notification, subscribe. Um, you may as well just, like, you know, pay a, a programmer on Fiverr to write you a program to, like, send you a text every time I go live. So that way you never miss the juicy, succulent Amiibo Doctor content. So... Thank you for watching.